Welcome XR developers to a new two part tutorial series where I will share with you the secret to make cool mixed reality effects like portals, masking or hiding objects and objects going through holes. On this episode, we will learn how to create a portal with a stencil shader and use it on the scene model from Meta to show a beautiful galaxy through our window. And in the next episode, we will use a depth mask to create this cool hole effect. So you better subscribe to not miss it. As always, you can support my work on Patreon to get access to the source code of this project as well as some cool exclusive content like this XR archery game that actually features the whole effect. Now I hope that you guys are ready, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are inside Unity and I've already done the VR setup with the Meta SDK using building blocks, as you can see, very simple setup which has already passed through, as you can see, which is showing an underlay. So if I click on play, I will just see the real world with my headset. There you go. So this is our app right now with the path through showing with this kind of cool infinite effect. But now it is time for me to show you the first effect, the portal. Okay, so I already showed how to make a portal effect in a two exclusive Patreon tutorial. One on remaking the portal from Doctor Strange and the other on making this cool XR archery game. Now, there are multiple ways to create a portal effect, but the best one, in my opinion, is using a stencil shader. But what is a stencil shader, you ask? So when we look at a 3D model on the screen, we can give all render pixel a certain value, the stencil value. Now, if I use the same technique on another object called a stencil mask, we can mask part of the 3D object by comparing these values. If we hide when they are equal, we can make a hole. And if we hide when they are not equal, we can only show the intersection. So if we apply this technique to mask part of our scene with a rectangle, for example, we can get a portal effect. Now, the big question is how to make this portal effect work inside this Unity project. Fortunately for us, using the universal rendering pipeline, uh, it is a bit easier. So this is why this project is configured with the URP. But of course, there is a way to do it with the standard pipeline as well. Now, for example, let's create the environment that we want to see inside the portal. For this, I'm going to right click, go to 3D object, then on sphere. We can create this one 360 galaxy. Beautiful. We can right click here and remove the sphere collider because we don't want any collision. And then I'm going to create a material that will display this beautiful 360 image. So for this, let's right click. Create, then go to material, call this one 360 galaxy. I'm going to drag the Milky Way inside the texture. And this material is lit right now. So instead, I'm going to set it to universal render pipeline unlit because we don't want any lighting. And I'm going to drag it to the sphere. And there you go. We can see our beautiful sphere. But we want to see the sphere from inside and not from outside like this. So instead of render face front, let's set it to back. And there you go, we can see this beautiful 360 image from the inside now. By the way, if you want to download this image as well, I will leave in the description the link where you can download it. So now we want to display this 360 sphere all around the player. So let me just reset it to 000. And I'm going to set the scale to maybe 500 on all axes. And there you go, the player will be here in the middle. And everywhere he will look around, he will see this beautiful galaxy. So just to give you an example, let's simply click on play. And wow, as you can see, we have the beautiful 360 image that is being shown all around us. This really look nice. But of course, right now we cannot see uh, the path through because it is behind the sphere. And now what we need to do is only to render part of this beautiful 360 image inside a portal. So let me show you how we can do this. Okay, so to create a portal, what we need to do is create, as I mentioned earlier, a stencil effect. If we go to settings, you should see the high fidelity renderer, which as you can see, contains some settings about the renderer. By the way, if you go to edit, project settings, and then to quality, make sure here that the URP high fidelity is selected because this is the one that is linked to the high fidelity renderer that we will be editing. As you can see, we have different render pipeline assets depending on the quality level. So what you can actually do is remove performance and balance to only have the high quality working. And this will make sure that we are right now editing the appropriate render pipeline feature. 
So now let's close these windows and to create our stencil effect, let's simply click on add renderer feature and click on render object. Then we can call this one stencil mask one opaque. I know this is very descriptive. We can let the event to after rendering opaque. But there, as you can see, we need to set a certain layer mask. And this is where things get really interesting. Because right now, our 360 Galaxy is set to the layer default. So what we need to do is click on Add Layer. And I'm going to create this one, Stencil Mask 1. There you go. We can go back to the 360 Galaxy and set this layer to the one that we just created. But now, if we go back to Settings and to the High Fidelity Renderer, if we go to the opaque layer at the top and disable the stencil mask, as you can see, the 360 Galaxy is not rendered anymore. And this is what's very important because what we need is to actually remove this layer from the normal rendering layer, but control the rendering of this layer inside here, the stencil mask one opaque render object. So let's simply select it over there. And there you go, it appears again. But this time, we will be able to override some of the properties. And like you guessed it, we can override the stencil property that we can find here. Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do is set the value to 1. And for the compare function, what we need is to set it to equals. But now, there is a big problem because it is hiding again. Now, the reason that it's hiding, it's actually being rendered. But because we have set the compare function to equals, it will only render where it finds another stencil object that has a value of 1. And this is what we can create. So we can actually create another render object for this. But an easier thing to do is actually to use one of these stencil shaders, which is very simple. If I just click on it. Okay, even if shaders are a bit hard to understand, this one is super short. And as you can see, it basically does nothing except to write a stencil value of name stencil ID. So how can we use it? I'm going to simply create a new material right there, which I can call stencil one. And I'm going to change its shader to the stencil shader that I've just shown you. Now, by the way, you will also be able to find this shader in the description down below. Okay, so now that we have created a material with the stencil of one, what we can do is create the object that will serve us as a portal. So in my case, I'm going to create a 3D cube there. I can reset its position to zero, zero, put it in front of the player, maybe scale it on the Z axis and maybe edit a little bit its shape like this. And there you go. And now this is where the magic happens because I'm going to drag this stencil material as the material of this cube. But as you can see, nothing happens. But guess why? It is because if we go to the material, the stencil ID is set to zero. But remember, if we go to the settings, then to high fidelity renderer, the comparison value is at one, not at zero. So if we go back to our material and that we edit this value simply to one, there you go. We have finished our first effect with the portal that is now showing our 360 galaxy. And as you can see, this effect really turns out well. And now let me just click on play to show you what it looks like inside the VR headset. There you go, guys. It looks even better within mixed reality. Now this effect really is awesome. I just want to show you maybe a bug that you may encounter uh, with a stencil. So right now, our 360 Galaxy, as you can see, the surface type is opaque. But if we change it to transparent, it doesn't work anymore. And this is because if we go to the high fidelity renderer, we can see that the queue is set to opaque. So what you need actually to do is redo exactly the same. So create a render object, then set the name to stencil mask one transparent. This is actually why I've set the name to opaque at the top. Then for the event, let's set it to after rendering transparent. Then for the queue, transparent. And down below for override, the same as above, which is override the stencil with a value of one and compare the function when it is equal. Oh, and I forgot also to set the layer mask to stencil mask. And there you go. By doing this, we've actually created the same thing as above, but for the transparent layer. Now, one thing is still missing. If we go at the top, as you can see, the opaque layer mask is not taking into account the stencil mask, but the transparent layer mask needs to do this as well. So let's remove it as well. And now if we go back to the 360 Galaxy and change its surface type to transparent, as you can see, 
the effect still works and you can even tweak the transparency now. So as you can see now, it works for both opaque and transparent layer. Now, of course, this uh, portal effect is cool, but what you can do is actually use it on the effect mesh. If you are using the Meta SDK, now the effect mesh use the scene model from Meta to be able to render some stuff on the different furniture and wool that you have created. So for example, if I go on the effect mesh, what we can do is actually use the stencil effect for the mesh material and for the label, let's set it first to nothing and then to window frame, because this will mean that now we will be able to display the 360 image through the window object that we have. So we don't actually need the cube anymore, just for this purpose. And now let's build our game to find out how this looks within the scene model by Meta. And there you go, guys. As you can see, the portal effect works great, even on our scene model window. At this point, don't hesitate to customize the look of the portal like I did in this project to recreate Doctor Strange portals that you will find on my Patreon. Make sure to subscribe to not miss the next episode about creating this whole effect. A big shout out to my new Patreon, which are appearing on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye. Bye.